Morning, everyone. Good morning, guys. Joe here. Gavin. All right. Oh, we had a fantastic first episode of the show. Yeah, it was a really great introduction to the world of the show and the characters. Wow. Very well written. Yeah. Uh, all the characters have a lot of depth. Everybody, everybody feels fleshed out. You know, everyone's a lot of fun. I love the pacing. It, it, it really, you really can kind of get shades of uh, Mrs. Maisel mm-hmm. it, yeah, with this show for sure. It's it's weird, right? But it's very interesting that it's yeah. there. I mean, this is, I think, 20 years before Maisel, maybe 10 years before Maisel. Yeah. And, and, same same writing sensibilities from the same author. Exactly. Though. Yeah. And it's very consistent. I love mm-hmm. all the characters. Lorelai. Is awesome. Yeah, she is. Yeah, the, <laughs> for, for me, coffee this morning, just like Lorelai. For me, the the big takeaway is the relationship between uh, Rory and Lorelai. I, I Very strong. Real, yeah, I, I really liked. It, it, it's a it's a different kind of relationship. Mm-hmm. Um, in that it feels very open and honest, even though it's clearly not going to be sometimes. Sure, but still I, quite healthy though. Yeah, it it does really feel like it's a pretty healthy relationship. Now that's obviously going to get tested, or the show wouldn't be interesting. Yeah. Right. There, there there will be times, you yeah. know. Rory didn't want to talk about the guy she was interested in. Sure. And that's that's a common teenage theme, right? Very normal. So, yeah. So, I, I think there are going to be tests. I think it will go both ways. Mm-hmm. Um, but like I said, the strength of the relationship is kind of what's really fun about the show. Yeah. And I want to see more of that, obviously. Um, also, I really want to see more of Lorelai and her parents and Rory's grandparents, you know? Because that relationship, sure. too, is, um, you know, trouble, to say the least. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, complicated. Right. Um I, d- I didn't care for, obviously, I don't think anybody did, probably on, on the first time they saw the first episode for them. Mm-hmm. Um, keeping in mind, of course, we are One less than 1% of the, show, <laughs> of the way through the show. Yeah. So uh, obviously characters go through arcs, they grow. How many times did we change our mind about people sure. on shows like Mad Men, right? Yep. Um, the, I mean, there's twice as many episodes of this as there are of Mad Men. So obviously, you know, we can amend i'm only saying that because there were some people on mad men who were furious with us about our knee-jerk reactions to first meeting characters that they had the benefit of seeing the entire show yeah so we're so we're uh, very angry with this for not for not knowing how the character turns out at the end of a show we've never watched season four of that was rough for us uh, it really was <laughs> like i hate betty because she's awful yeah but in season seven she's not <laughs> great I, what i do think is interesting though is, is um how they handle the parents on Marvel's Miss Maisel. Sure. I want to compare the two shows, right? In right. terms of like the parents of the show, both shows. I'm going to make a prediction because of be- because of the connections between the shows that I know we're not there yet, obviously, but I feel like we'll probably, if I had to guess, we're going to get the same kind of parent dynamic in mm-hmm. that the father might come around a little bit more to, to the audience's more liking. So the more so than the mother. Because by the time we were done with Maisel, I could not stand Rose. Rose and I, and, yeah. and that was intentional. That yeah. Rose was intentionally unsympathetic sure. for most of the show. Early on, she more so than at the end. But by the end, she, yeah, was, she was really hard to like. Um, and I... I'm kind of wondering if we go that way with the show. In the in the first episode, both of them were kind of like, uh, you're a little rough. Um, <laughs> Especially the dad. He was kind of a tough angle. He, he was. Yeah. But I'm kind of wondering if him kind of being a lot like Tony Shalhoub's character is going to kind of flush out the same, yeah. you know, or close to it. And they're it's like, okay, we he comes around a little bit. We like the guy, whatever. Yeah. But I, I think the mom will be the tougher hang. For just just because of the connections to that. It won't be black and white, for sure. No, not at all. All right, we do want to go and jump into it now, but we do want to thank all of our Patreon subscribers for being here with us. And I'd like to give a special shout-out to Actuarial Lurker, Balas Foldes, Chris, Jeff, Christy Goverston, NJ, Suya Gundavarapu, Weird Magic, Torgir Lingstad, and Emily. Thank you so much, guys. We're really happy here with us. Yes, we are. And if you're watching, watching us for the first time on YouTube, welcome to our channel. If you might hit the like button for us, please leave us a comment down below and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on the new content we've coming your way. If you would like to see a full-length reaction to this and everything else we've watched or are currently watching, <clears> please check out the link in the description below to our Patreon page. On every show, including Gilmore Girls, we are at least four episodes ahead on Patreon of where we're on YouTube. So if you're watching the YouTube edits and want to keep going, you can do it there. You will have to sync and watch along on your own source material. You'll only see us for copyright purposes. So why are you okay. insisting on doing this? Well, because you're starting this private school at this age. tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but I'm going to be wearing shoes. Nobody's going to see my feet. <laughs> Guys, new CD, XTC, Apple Venus Volume 2. Oh, oh, oh God! <laughs> What's funny is I expected Rory to be the one to get up and run with a friend at yeah, that, no. and not, not Lorelai. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. So I said Edward Herman... The grandfather, this is a special appearance, so it's not a regular cast member all the way through. I wonder. I mean, sometimes they, the, they add later. It becomes yeah, a series right. regulars, but so we'll see, I guess. Mom! What? God. Sleeping I, in the what first are you day. doing? Having a heart attack. I thought you were <laughs> up. It's 7 10. Yeah, I can't yeah, be up. late on my first day of school. You know what happens to people when they're late on their first day? It's shorter? I don't have any clothes. 
It's 7.50. All my nice things were dirty. It's 7.16. Oh my god, I was gonna wear my blue suit with the flippy skirt. <laughs> this is my biggest anxiety. <laughs> Flipping up late, yeah. Not having any clothes? Yeah. It sucks. It's 7. Don't even think of finishing that sentence. <laughs> she gonna work what? in that? Nothing, I just didn't know the rodeo was in town. You are an amazing kid. You have earned this. You just go in there and show them what smart really is. You have to go in with me. All right, come on. You have to meet the headmaster. Well, what look at hiring. me. I wouldn't want my mom to go in with no. a dress like that, Not honestly. Oh, they ran into mean girls. Yeah. <laughs> Lorelai like Gilmore. Her, this like is my Rory. daughter. Lorelai <laughs> Gilmore. I named her after me as in the hospital. I whacked out on Demerol. <laughs> This is very Midge in this episode. It really yeah. Hi. Wow. That's really nice to meet uh, I He looks very familiar. Mom? I can't place his name. Um, oh, her mom's there. Nice. Yeah. Um, uh, you didn't have to come all the way out here, Mom. Well, this gave me a chance to make sure that Hanlon here takes good care of Rory. <laughs> well, I, take I agree. And sit down. You don't want Hanlon to think you're rude. Oh, no. Sure. Here we go. I would tell the truth. Hey, I had a laundry issue today. I'm not dressed appropriately for the school. She's just new boot goofing. Yeah. Laundry day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hanlon, did you know that Rory has a 4.0? How do you leave the house looking like that? It's not planned, believe me. And on Rory's first day of school, what kind of impression did you think you were going to make? What are the what pajamas? What are you doing here, I Mother? I, I just thought it was important for this school to know they had a Gilmore amongst them. A very good thought. And that some of the Gilmores actually own clothing. Oh my God, she is a hard She's woman a to lot. love. Yeah, she reminds me a lot of Rose. Yeah, uh, very much so. Yeah. What are your aspirations? I want to go to Harvard oh and study God. journalism and political science. <laughs> On your way to being <laughs> Christiane Amanpour. Maybe I'll be a journalist and write books or articles about what I see. I just want to be sure that I see something. I love that. Yeah, that is a completely reasonable thing to say at her age. Chilton has one of the highest academic standards of any school in America. You may have been the smartest girl at Stars Hollow, but this is a different place. Since you are starting late and are not used to this highly competitive atmosphere, there is a good chance you will space fail. Is creeping me out. Do you think that she stays at Chilton? Do you think that she eventually? I do. I don't. If she doesn't, it's not because she fails. Would be my guess. I, yeah, I think she's more than capable. Right. I just think that this environment's a lot. Yeah. Perfect attendance, 4.0 grade point Bugs average. Bugs dirt twigs. She's a journalism major. That means she's going to go out for the school paper. Why are they letting all these extra people in? They just take up space and screw up the curve. We don't need any new kids here. Wow. The status quo. From the Chilton Honor Code, here are the words to the school song which must be recited upon demand. This can happen any place, any time. No, right. This is not a very warm environment at I all. don't like Chilton. I don't <laughs> This is a jumbo I love coffee. This guy. I need coffee and an IV. I can give you tea and a balance bar. Please, please, please tell me you're kidding. I'm kidding. Sorry, I don't want these children. two to fall in love. Really? Honestly, yeah. they'd be really cute together, yeah. Yeah. Good energy. What? Well, that's how you dress to take Rory to Chilton. No, but isn't today Rory's <laughs> first day at Chilton? Oh, yeah, she's there right now. I just got through dropping her off. Is that what you wore? No, look at the time. See you, Patty. I am in love with that house, though. That house is that, amazing. Yeah, the house is great. Okay, I already took care of nice. all that, Mom. I got her two skirts and a bunch of tops. But there are five days in a school week. Really? If she gets them both dirty. Well, then we'll use this newfangled thing called a washing machine. The town just chipped in and bought one. My turn's Tuesday. Well, then, what about socks? I think you let her, your mom do this. It's just less conflict. They've got some money. Yeah. <laughs> Sand Anna Karenina. Count Leo would turn to... David Copperfield. Correct. He would turn to David Copperfield. I think Rory's gonna compete with this girl hard. Hope so. Looks like we got ourselves a Mary. Miss, um, I don't want to know what they mean by that. Come yeah, on, probably sucks, huh? Yeah. Just an overview. It would be very helpful to you to borrow one of the other students' personal notes. They tend to be more detailed. More detailed than this? God. Franklin, the school paper. Are you going out for it? I don't know. I have to find my locker first. I'm gonna be editor next year, <laughs> yeah. and I intend to be valedictorian when I graduate. Okay, wow. I'm going now. You'll never catch up. You'll never beat me. And don't you yeah. ever forget that. Wow. Talk about insecurity. You're not going to let me borrow your notes, huh? <laughs> no way. I would have been like, 
now I have someone to push me that I can't stand for yeah, the rest yeah. of high school. Okay, nice to meet you. Bye. <laughs> yeah. I look great, right? Yes. Yes. See, this is how I was supposed to look this morning. Good morning, Jackson. Oh my God, today was Rory's first day. The only thing that matters is that Rory got into that great school. I know. She looked so amazing in her uniform and she was so excited. I yes. wanted you to know that I just bought a parking space for Rory at Chilton. You what? They are nice. very hard to come by, but I pulled a few strings and it's all hers. Mom, you're not buying Rory a car. Why not? She's a smart girl. She's responsible. Well, she doesn't need one. She needs to have a way to get around, to get to school. I could loan you my notes if that would help. Really? That'd be great. Yeah. Well, how great. Yeah, I don't like that guy. No. So far, we haven't met anybody likable in the school, but no, we will. Not one person. <laughs> you're a Chilton dad. Ooh, that sounds bad. Not bad, just tricky. You know, Rory just started there. <laughs> Look, it's just a casual dinner. Sorry. I'm sorry, but you're going to open. Well, I hated my life. <laughs> oh, no, no! Oh, that's the worst. Please, I'm so sorry. That's it was an worst. accident. My, my locker just slipped. I pulled too hard. I, I didn't mean to. Maybe she'll calm down and these two will be friends down the road. I, I hope so. <laughs> so do I. Maybe not. It's, it's a long road to hoe there. <laughs> Thing. You will receive an incomplete for this project. It's my fault. Who are you? Rory Gilmore. I wrecked her project. Shut up. Miss Gilmore, since you say you wrecked Miss Geller's project, then you may help her fix it. You have until tomorrow. Okay. Fine. No. <laughs> God, this has been one hectic, bizarro day for me. Yeah? Yeah. This morning with the being late and my mother with her existing. Yeah. This guy who asked me out. But you're not going. No, I'm not going. Yeah, she's picking up what he's putting mm -hmm. down. <laughs> we see you, Luke. Yeah. I'm so sorry I had to call you like this. Oh, that's okay, Batman. I appreciate it. All of a sudden, they pull up, get out of the truck, and start sniffing around. I'm supposed to install a DSL oh, for a wall like Gilmore. Is that you? Yes, that's me. I'm Mick. Hi, Mick. Nice to meet you. Could you get off my porch? Uh, the order was placed by an Emily Gilmore. Oh, no. We would have been done by now, but the frog search has put us way behind. Uh, we don't need a DSL, so thanks for coming, and uh, you guys can just go. Very good, Nice. Gilmore. Stand up for yourself a little. Until no. next time, class. Well, competition. I like it. I do too. She's tried. I will make this school a living hell for you. Stay out of my way. We're all getting educated. See you tomorrow, Mary. <laughs> oh, this guy. Okay, we get it, man. That's that's high school, though. He's gonna keep repeating it because he doesn't know when to stop. There will be no cars, no parking spaces, and all the uniforms will be supplied by me, the mother. That's final. There will be no discussion. You're being stubborn, as usual. I appreciate what you have done for Rory in paying for her school. That will not be forgotten. We get it. Where she's coming from. Yeah, completely. for sure. Yeah. The, the, helping is one thing. A bridge too far. It's right. deeper than Taking the over, yeah. 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 Really bad days. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so this whole plaid skirt thing, my idea? My day sucked too. Mary, like Virgin Mary. It means they think you look like a goody goody. You're kidding. No. I had a Paris. Yeah? Yeah, she was horrible. How'd you get rid of her? I got pregnant and dropped out. Yeah. yeah. Sweetie, you can't let those kids get you down. I know. Man. He's a really good dude, so. Yeah. Again, really funny episode, really well written. I, I like how snarky mm -hmm. it is. Um, I, I'm a fan of snarky, sarcastic, witty writing. I am too. And it is piled on in this show. Well, also, I, I've really been missing The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, so yeah. this is a really nice um, supplement to that. Really, yeah, it is. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that we're actually doing this show now because this is the big one, right? Everyone's like, yeah. Maisel is kind of like the um, successor to it, sure. obviously. So. Um, but yeah, and I'm also wondering how much... Uh, Amy Sherman Palladino, how much of her parents she puts into the two parent characters that we've seen so far? They're so similar. That has to be, right? Like, I, I, That's what I'm thinking. I, I'm assuming that she is probably a prodigy that had a bit of a, yeah. of, a of a complicated relationship with her parents, especially her mother. Just from both, what we've seen. Yeah, just, both shows so far. Just a guess. Now, that may not be true. It may be a simple thing like she just writes that dynamic sure. well. Of course, it doesn't necessarily have to be true. Mm -hmm. But, man, it really does feel like yeah it feels genuine to where it's like this feels like mm -hmm. personal experience and obviously it's all fictitious but, sure. like, but you know 
obviously lots of writers talk about pulling from personal experiences. Yeah, I mean, so, yeah. all writing is semi autobiographical. Sure. And uh, I, I just love how distinct each character feels and how right. it does feel like um like you watch a Tarantino movie and that feels like a Tarantino character. Right. It's no different here. Sure. So, or any Sorkin project ever. You can tell right. Taryn Sorkin writing it. And, you know, I like that her voice is so distinct. Right. Yes. Speaking of Sorkin, the uh, guy who uh, played the, the headmaster. Yes. You know, the one that was in True Grit. Yeah. Uh, he was in uh, the uh, Broadway production I saw of... Um, no kidding. To Kill a Mockingbird, the Aaron Sorkin hmm. uh, adaptation with uh, Jeff Daniels. Who did he play? He was the judge in the oh, trial. Oh, that yeah. makes sense. It seems like a judge. And, and, and it was... A, it, it, it was a because it was a Sorkin role. It was a Sorkin adaptation. It was a meteor part than than you see in the the novel or the movie. So I, I'm really jealous to get to see that on the. Yeah. I want to see how different it is. Yeah, this is pretty amazing. That's awesome. It turns out that Aaron Sorkin actually does write dialogue way better than Harper Lee did. I've heard that. <laughs> Strange, strangely <laughs> enough. All right, thanks a lot, guys. We'll catch you soon on the next one.